Hello and welcome to this Prospect 365 CRM video where today we're going to take a look at how we can search for and find information from within the CRM system. So to start with we're on our home page here we've got certain dashboards set up and one of them is our recent activity. Very useful uh, it's going to show us things that are records that we've been looking at um, throughout the day or over the last couple of hours can be used if you're looking at something in the morning you go off on lunch you come back you can't remember the name of that contact who it was you're looking at you can just scroll down there click and it will load up the record for you exactly the same happens if I go up into the search I just click into there it will show me my recent activity now if we just go into here and just type in Browns for instance this is going to search through and it's going to show us any records to do with Browns in our search so we can see we've got our companies we've got our oh, divisions We've got our contacts, we've got our leads, our problems, and our quotes. The reason it's showing us leads and problems is because Michelle Jury is based at Browns. So it's showing us that information. If we just go back up to the top, you can see we have our little icons here. And if I unselect company, it's now only going to show me divisions, contacts, leads, problems, quotes, etc. So it's a great way to filter and narrow down that particular search that you've just done. So if we go into a division record now, Remember with the hierarchy, a division is going to show us any information to do with the division, contacts, leads, problems, etc. logged underneath it. So if we were to go to the leads tabs, leads tab, sorry, on here, it's going to show us all of the leads which have been created under any of the contacts based at Browns of Sheffield. So there's quite a lot of information here. If we just scroll down, lots of leads that we've had logged. So one way that I can change the how I'm viewing this information, I can filter it, I can sort it just by clicking on these column headings so we can change it uh, numerically, um, alphabetically, etc. Another thing that we can do anytime you see this spyglass allows us to search. So I know we've been working on a new project for these guys. I just type in new project and it's going to return and show me the new project that we've uh, that we've logged with them. OK, and if I just delete that, just do a blank search, it's going to return it back to normal for me. So very, very useful. We did this underneath the leads. But again, you could do it on problems, on quotes, on documents. Anytime you see that spyglass, very useful to help pinpoint and find that bit of information you're after. Now, if we just jump over into uh, contacts for a moment and we're going to load up Michelle Jury's contact record here. So on a contact record, we have the activity uh, section. So this displays to me all records which we've added to the system um, underneath this particular contact. So again, quite a lot of information going on there. So again, up at the top, we've got our search icon. So we can search through the notepad to find specific words or phrases which are going to be helpful for us. But also, you see, we've got these little star icons. So I can tag a note with a little star as being useful or as being important for us. OK, and also if I go to actually enter some text and add a reply, so I can pop a note in. Very important. Only, only call on a Friday. OK, now at the bottom here, just scroll down a little bit, we can add a tag. So I could add calling details or something like that. As soon as I press enter, that tag is added and I just need to click post. So that has added the tag. There we go, calling. We can see these other ones I've done here, super important and important. And if I now go up at the top here to the filter and just click on there, it's going to allow me to show key items only, which are ones that we've marked with that star. Or if I just go back to all items, I can now select any of these tags that I've added, so calling, it's only going to show me the one where we've added the tag of calling or important or super important. OK, um, and whatever tags you have there will appear under our filter option. OK, and then if we want to go back and just view all items again, just click on there and unclicking the filter gets us back to where we started from. 